Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja. And today I'll address uh, a particular thing that comes up every now and then in the comment section of the videos. And that is, what is the best use of educational videos? So I sometimes get questions where people ask me, can you explain this in a video or can you handle this topic and most of the times I try to accommodate it. But I would like to suggest here sort of a process. Where do videos fit in according to my simple understanding of the learning process in your learning? So my idea is that videos can only do some form of an introductory job, right? The most important thing in your scholarly learning, of course, is reading. Reading a text carefully, reading it remo repeatedly, make, taking notes, that is what is gonna give you the kind of understanding that you need of any given text. Videos are supplemental materials. What I mean by that is that if you're reading something and if I have a video recorded on that topic, the video might help you think differently about that topic or maybe it might explain certain things that may not be very apparent in a text. But the video itself cannot be be all and end all of any scholarly engagement or explanation of any concepts and ideas. And that's something that I would like you to keep in mind. Another thing that I think videos should not be used as as a teaching or a learning tool is as a shortcut. You know, if you have an exam and it's based in reading a text or reading a book, chances are you'll do better if you actually read the book carefully and then watch the video. Because simply watching an educational video is not gonna give you the nuanced understanding of the book that is on your exam. I always use this example is video, educational videos are like, kind of like Wikipedia. Now I know some of my former colleagues, they would deride Wikipedia because it wasn't, you know, peer reviewed and all. I know it is peer reviewed and it is highly, you know, edited by some really learned people. So I really respect Wikipedia's mission of making knowledge available. So the reason I say videos are like Wikipedia is that you can start from Wikipedia. If you put in a search and something comes up on Wikipedia, it's a good place to start to understand a concept. And then you go in depth and look at published resources and other materials and find out more details about any given concept. That's how I encourage my students to use Wikipedia. So video lectures in a way are kind of like Wikipedia or video educational videos, especially the kinds that I do on humanities, I'm not talking about sciences or technical videos. Uh, so in these kind of videos are kind of like Wikipedia. We, I can give you a summary. I can give you my thoughts on a topic and you take that but more importantly, it will be your reading of a text, your understanding of a text and your views about it that will be important in your learning, in your actual exams and in your scholarship and research. So that's what I would suggest. That's the best way of using educational videos such as the ones that I produce here is to use them as supplementary materials, as additional materials, materials that can enhance your reading and understanding of a text, but can never supplant the act of reading itself. And I hope you keep that in mind, and I hope this information is useful to you. Now, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have and, you know, any suggestions that you might have. That's all for today. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe, be kind and generous to each other, and I will now see you next time. Until then, as always, peace and love.